up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video with an actual update today. Or actually an update that happened yesterday with the Giants players and voluntary workouts. Uh, I think this is also OTAs. Uh, voluntary workouts are usually OTAs, don't quote me. And in fact, not just Giants players, but... NFL players, players of other teams as well, and them electing not to go to these voluntary workouts in the spring. And we're going to get right into it. First and foremost, shout out to you guys, the subs, the members. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and well, let's, let's get into it. So this is an article from the New York Post by Paul Schwartz. Shout out to him. And it reads, Giants players followed the lead of several other NFL teams, announcing Thursday that they will not attend in-person voluntary workouts, citing COVID-19 concerns. The off-season workout program is scheduled to begin on Monday. So far, the Broncos, Seahawks, Patriots, Lions, Browns, Bears, and Super Bowl champion Buccaneers have all made public their intention to stay away from any in-person workouts this spring. Before I get to a statement that the uh, that the Giants players made, I just want to say really quickly, this is my thoughts on it. I, I know for some reason uh, some people might get offended by it, but in my opinion, when I look at it, I 100% respect the decision because they're thinking about their health and their family's health and whatnot. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm saying to myself, you played during the regular NFL season when arguably conditions would be worst to, you know, contract COVID because you're in the middle of a game, you know, you're out there in a contact sport, you know, you're out there practicing in the training facility and whatnot. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, if anything, these voluntary workouts are going to be way safer than an NFL game and then what... The NFL, the NFL season was, and, and shout out to the NFL for that. They conducted, a, I, I'd say, a pretty good job of keeping everybody clean and whatnot. Um, so, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking in the back of my mind. I'm like, you guys are concerned about this, but you had the NFL season. I, it, it's just a question that pops up, but I'm not gonna completely question their decision because it makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, it makes sense in terms of they want to keep their family safe. Um, for as you know, whatever control over the situation they have because at the end of the day it is voluntary workouts It's not the mandatory ones. So this is the statement the Giants players made our team is a strong united brotherhood of professionals Who love the game of football and work year-round to perfect our craft We also have to make the best decision to protect our health and safety Which is why players on our team are exercising our CBA right not to attend in-person voluntary workouts we stand in solidarity with players across our league who are making informed decisions to with the help of our union, both in lighting in the light of ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and what data shows about the benefits to our overall health and safety. So once again, they're making it for their safety. I'm not going to get on them for that. But the question just popped into my mind. Maybe I'm a little bit too callous with it. You guys let me know. And then the article continues to say last year, the entire NFL conducted offseason programs remotely, which, by the way, I am still a strong believer that if we had regular offseason programs and there is a plan to have what seems to be regular offseason programs, that is in person offseason programs for this, you know, spring and summer. I think that the team would have done a lot better. And I expect the team because of it this year to take a nice step forward. Um, you know, in the offseason to these guys to develop for them to get, you know, get that chemistry going and then for them to hit the ground running in, you know, opening week. Because we all agree that basically the first month of the NFL season for a lot of teams was still part of the offseason. They were still getting used to the game. So the article goes, veterans and established players will not be hurt by this, but young players, draft picks, undrafted rookies, and those on the fringes of rosters could be affected by not getting the opportunity to make an impression on at the team facility. I completely agree because the voluntary workouts start, I think, Monday, and it's going to run until a week or two, if I remember correctly. So one week or two weeks, either way, it, en it encompasses the draft which means um, drafted players, yeah, draft picks are definitely going to be there. Undrafted rookies are definitely going to be there. But we're, as the next paragraph states, they are going to have their chance at the mandatory workouts, which the NFL this week announced that phase three of its offseason program will contain 10 on-field voluntary practices and a three-day mandatory minicamp running from May 24th to June 18th. Aha, so I got the two voluntary things mixed up. Okay, wait a minute. Now, I'm, I'm not necessarily concerned, but I'm, okay, yes. 
So the voluntary workouts they're not going to take part in seems to be the one that begins May 24th. Not the off-season workout program that begins Monday. Or I could be mixing it up. I apologize, guys. This is, after all, giving my thoughts on it. If that's the case, and they're like we're talking May 24th there, that's the middle of the offseason, they're still not going to be there. I am a little bit concerned. I, I really am. Because at that point in the offseason is when you start to work on things like implementing the new scheme and whatnot. When you start to work on things that's actually football related. Because for a good part of the offseason, it's just physicals. It's just working your body back into football shape, which is something I was harping on last offseason and I said would cause a lot of injuries. And well, it did cause a lot of injuries because they did not have those programs. Like for the first half of the offseason, a lot of it is just physical. It's just getting your body back into shape. It's training yourself to get back to the rigors of football, to get back to the rigors of NFL level work that's what it is it's slowly working your body's flexibility strength you know all those things is slowly working your body back into shape to play nfl level football if you don't do it and it's it's not a short process it is you know kind of a long one if you don't do it or you don't do it properly you're gonna have injuries so that seems to be what they might be skipping out on and i hope they're, that they're gonna be working on themselves properly so that we don't have injuries um, and the Giants, in terms of injuries, were not that bad last year. They they were okay. But I hope that they're there properly with their trainers or maybe they're working together just not at the facility, whatever the case is. I hope they're stretching their bodies. I hope they're getting it back into shape if they're not going to be there at voluntary um, workouts. And I also hope that they do at least, and this is going to sound weird, attend the ones where you're starting to get the scheme implemented, where you're starting to get the coaches actually back into coaching mode in terms of teaching. Um, you know, Joe Judge loves his teachers, but not necessarily in terms of, you know, training, but in terms of teaching, because at some point during the offseason, they're going to start shifting over to actually football related things, you know, on the field, plays, calls, coverages, all that. Whenever they start to shifting to those, I hope those players are there. For the most part though, I do trust this team and I trust that they've obviously spoken to Joe Judge. I don't feel like he just, you know, not know anything about this or allow it to, to go on without there being a legitimate plan in place. So I got faith in them. Um, I hope Judge knows what he's doing. And so far, guess what? He shows me that he showed the rest of the fan base that he does in fact know what he's doing. So we'll, we'll see how this plays out. We will. And well, the draft is just a couple weeks away. We'll see how those draft players how they adjust with this new obstacle in their way because they're going to have to do a lot more work in a lot shorter amount of time in order to prove themselves, especially the undrafted guys, and make a roster. But put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.